Hey YouTube, and guess what? It, well, yeah. yeah, it's time for another video. <laughs> Sorry, I lost train of speak. Yes, train of speak, not train of thought. Because my train of thought was intact, but my train of speak was altered. Damn my Tourette's. But anyway, <clears throat> I got a new package in the mail today. And, well, before I tell you what it is, well... I won't tell you why it is, I'll just unbox it, but... Somehow... Which, I'm gonna complain to the uh, post office over this. This... Was somehow... In my mailbox. I've got a standard mailbox. How the crap do you fit that? And I in a mailbox! It was in there tight! I'm a little ticked off at my mailman. Stuff like this he should bring to you, but there's been a lot of complaints about this mailman anyway. He's only had to, he's had the job for less than a year and everyone hates him. He hasn't complained about my mailman. Because he's a lazy bastard. Yeah, that's pretty well true, he is. But anyway, while I'm unboxing this, I'm also going to be checking for damage, because I swear if this is damage, I'm going to probably take it out in the post office. So let's start ripping in here. I don't know where my good knife is. I really don't know where my good knife is. Ah. Now, I got this on sale, actually. Because typically this thing right here is $50. Come on. Come on. <clears throat> Seriously? More tape? There we go. Three. All right. So, what we have today <clears throat> is, well, a keyboard. What kind of keyboard? It is the K70 black backlight keyboard from uh, Moto Speed. Um. This typically runs a uh, runs fifty dollars on New Egg. I got it on sale for twenty. I could not pass it up, especially since I've never had backlit keyboard. I really want a back backlit keyboard, and yeah. But basically, it's got a uh, tri key backlit design. Uh, I'm, I'm going to be doing a full-on review of this in the process of this video. Will be, which I'll have to edit, but oh well. One of my main selling points though was that it is waterproof. Which is really good for gamers considering the fact that, yeah. And holy moly. It's very rare you're grown into something that is at the well, description. First description is in Chinese, I think. Oh, let me double check. Nope, Japanese. Okay. Yeah, the description is actually in Japanese. The first description. That is actually kind of cool. I, it's very rare I get something that's actually like that. Uh, and as you can see, there is damage to the box. I'm really hoping there's no physical damage to the keyboard itself. Could you just not shove a piece of hardware into a mailbox? It upsets me that that happened. So, let's get into it. Okay, correction. Correction, I'm a stupid idiot, it's Chinese. No, I don't say made in China, it's just Chinese. Okay. 
Okay. Um, foam bracket. Foam bracket. Good. Put the box down in just a second. Just trying to see if it has anything on the type of keys because you never know. Uh, no. Uh, da, 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 da. Yeah, there's nothing in there that says what kind of keys it's running. Um, I'll see if I can do a little bit of research on it further on. And if, if I find out, I'll post it down in the description. But, um, right here's the keyboard as you can see. Let's just turn like this. Now, I'm really picky whenever it comes to my keyboards. For the main reason, if I don't have a keyboard with a numpad down here, it really upsets me. That feels pretty good. Um, compared to my... Let's compare it to my other keyboard, shall we? Let me get my other unit. Yeah, why don't you just drop the new keyboard? Okay. Okay, so we're going to compare it to my retired keyboard. Oh, wow. Okay, this is a Logitech uh, K120 keyboard. It is... It was a pretty dang good keyboard. And I've... This is actually my first one of these. I've got another one that I'm actually using currently. Because I love these so much. The only reason why I quit using this is... Um, the... Uh, something got damaged during one of my... Uh, DJ gigs and uh, chip keys don't work. So, yeah. So, I had to quit using it. And this is the uh, first version of the K120, actually. Uh, let's just put this. Actually, no, let's do a comparison real quick. As you see, there are. Pretty much the same size. This one's a little bit like shorter, a little slimmer. The same, uh, well, height, the width is just a little bit, just a little bit smaller in the width, which I don't mind. Uh, yeah. Anything else in there? That's nah, not really. Okay. Out with the old, uh, and it looks like on the back here we have a switch to turn on and off the LEDs, which is pretty kick-ass. And what's this? There's a little hatch down here. I'm not sure what it's about. Uh, but yeah, it, it comes with your standard feet, which is good. Um, it's not like the feet on the K120. Uh, the K120... Actually, no, it's not the K120 that's got it. Uh, I, was, I, I, I actually think of my cooling dock. My old cooling dock. My old cooling dock has, had, like, uh, pretty neat feet. But the, uh, yeah. Enough about the K120. Um, so, let's test out this keyboard, shall we? Uh, I'll be right back as soon as I get it hooked up. Good. Sorry. Okay, as you all can see, I have my uh, keyboard here. Now, I, I I done just a little bit of typing and whatnot with it, and I can already tell you I'm going to have just a minor issue with this, and I'll show you why. Let me just go over here and grab my other keyboard. Okay. So here's my old keyboard. Here's the new. While typing, I'm used to going back and forth and stuff. Well, I'm used to the entry key being a lot longer. Therefore, me not 
having to stretch halfway across the keyboard for enter. As you see, the enter key is relatively standard on this one. And I don't have to stretch near as much. While on this one, let me uh, just open up a web browser real quick and I'll show you. Like, let's see. Like, the Pi is a Y, and typically my enter is right here. But now I have to stretch a little bit further to hit that enter key. The Pi is a lie. There you go. Yes, the Pi is a lie. I don't care what people say. The Pi is a lie. Let me put my other keyboard back. Now, let's see if I can give you a better shot of it in the dark, shall we? If my camera will pick it up. Alright. It looks pretty good in the dark. And as you can see, like I said, it does have a switch back there to where no light. Turn that back on. There you go. As you can see, and again, there's like no colors don't change or anything like that. So, yeah. Let's see. Um, let's just. Yeah. As you can see. Looks pretty good. I don't mind it too much. Let me turn my lights back on. Do, 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 do. Ah. There we go. Looks like my camera can adjust to dark fairly well. That's the first time I've ever done any night shooting like that. I had go hitting the thing. But yeah, that is the Moto Speed K70 gaming keyboard. I'm kind of impressed with it, and I'm kind of not. It feels alright. It seems a little bit more cramped right here than it should be. Let me figure out why. And that is why. Oops. It's got an extra key right here. That is why it's so cramped. The, uh... I'm so used to this key right here being down here on this bottom row. No, wait, not that key. Okay, that key being right up here. There we go. That's the off part, yeah. But, yeah, it's just... It might be a little bit more cramped than my other, than my other keyboard. But all in all, it feels alright. I'm going to have to adjust to... Where the entry key is and stuff, but... Hey, that's what you get when you're switching keyboards. Sometimes you get things you don't like, and, you, sometimes, you get, and sometimes you get things you do, and sometimes you got to compromise. I'm not one for compromise. But, yeah, I had to this time. But as you see, one last look at the motor speed keyboard. Moto speed, sorry, not motor. And, um, in the near future, I will be doing a review on the uh, Wacom Intuos uh, drawing tablet. And there is an ant on my desk for some odd reason. So, be looking forward to that. So yeah, I hope you all enjoyed this, and uh, I'll see you later.